Hello, I'm Dr. Raziat, one of the vascular surgeons here at the Bain Institute of New Jersey. Today, I would like to discuss one of the most common questions we get here at the Institute. What are varicose veins, reticular veins, and telangiectasias, most commonly referred to as spider veins, and how are they different? Varicose veins are dilated, twisted venous channels that most commonly occur in the legs, but occur elsewhere in the body. Both women and men are affected. Varicose veins form as a result of malfunctioning venous valves that allow the blood to flow in a backward motion, resulting in what is referred to as reflux. The reverse flow activity, increased blood volume, and pressure is what causes the veins to bulge and elongate. It's interesting to know that varicose veins are commonly an inherited abnormality passed down through the generations. Other risk factors associated with the development of varicose veins include obesity, pregnancy, and professions that require long periods of sitting or standing. Most common symptoms of varicose veins include throbbing, itchiness, achiness, and legs feeling tired or heavy. With progression of the disease, skin color changes, skin irritation, and potential ulcerations may develop. Improvements of the condition begin with a visit to the specialist who will conduct a thorough physical exam, perform the necessary vascular testing, and arrive at the proper diagnosis. Treatment of the condition in our modern times is a far cry from the more invasive procedures of the past. The good news is that the condition can be treated effectively with the newest, minimally invasive techniques that are performed in our office with local anesthesia with little or no downtime. Telangiectasias, in comparison, also known as spider veins, are small thread-like vessels that appear on the surface of the skin. At times, telangiectasias can cause discomfort or itch but most commonly the treatment of spider veins is for cosmetic reasons. Most patients at the Institute do not have varicose or reticular veins and simply look for a better cosmetic appearance. The good news is that these veins can quickly and effectively be treated with sclerotherapy or surface laser in our office, immediately returning to normal activities. Reticular veins are blue veins that become prominent in a network pattern but do not bulge above the surface of the skin. They're generally larger than spider veins in size, however they can also be symptomatic, meaning they could be early sign of venous disease. In many cases, sclerotherapy is the treatment of choice. Unfortunately, varicose veins, reticular veins, and spider veins do not get better on their own, and the tendency is for the progression of symptoms and disease. We always encourage our patients to come to be treated sooner rather than later. If you are experiencing pain or discomfort or any other symptoms mentioned in the video earlier, you should try to be seen by a specialist. As always, if you need more information or have questions, you may call our office. We are here to help. Thank you for your interest in the Maine Institute of New Jersey.